Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Man, we are having bright, sunny, hot weather here where I am in South Alabama. It's, uh, I think it was a high of like 83 today. A little rain coming in a few days and we're going to have a little bit cooler weather while I'm here, so that'll be nice. But, oh, this is not too bad, so I won't complain at all. Um, anyway, we're just going to finish the week up here with a little talk about, um, like you might be curious by that title, are you ready for Raw Vegan? Um, you know, I really don't think a lot of people are. And like I say, these are just my opinion. Um, when I say these things like that, it, it's still, no matter how many disclaimers I put in there, people seem to go, you know, especially when I share stuff on social media, somebody will always, like, try to, like, um, come up with a reason why that wasn't valid for them. Hey, not everything's valid for everybody. That's just my kind of way of sol problem solving is, like, when I have any sort of problem to solve or trying to figure something out, I brainstorm, you know, it's all about brainstorming and just throwing out possible solutions. Yes, not every solution is going to work for every person. We're all individuals. We're all on our own, very own unique path here. Even just humans in general, what we got on the planet now, 7 billion people. There's no two people that are alike. I mean, you know, there's people, there can be people, people that do similar things. But the point being is, all I'm trying to do sometimes is just throw out another possibility. If it's not a possibility for you, eh, it's not a possibility for you. And I'm sure, as always, when I do these, somebody will tell me their particular story of why they have to eat raw vegan or, you know, because of some particular reason, health situation or whatever, that they can't eat the cooked food and it's they need to be on the vegan. Uh, I mean, the raw vegan. I understand that. I understand that. Every time um, I, I say that before a video, I do understand that. So... Like I say, just take the advice if it, or just think about the advice and see if it applies to you. But I don't know. It's just like, you know, it's all this raw vegan, raw vegan, raw vegan. And I, it's, it seems like everything on social media is just this big struggle. It's always about people talking about staying on the plan. They fell off the plan. Um, I don't know. Maybe I don't. I'm not sure it's supposed to be that hard um, to be raw vegan when you're ready. If you're having extreme struggles on Raw Vegan, you might want to just be a little introspective and ask yourself, am I ready for this? If it's causing you psychological stress all the time, you're obviously not ready. And, it, you know, that's like I, I say over and over in a lot of videos, that stress can be, I, I'm, I'm going to guarantee you, you know, we won't argue whether it's got to be cooked or it's got to be raw, but I will guarantee you the stress is going to be worse for you than cooked vegan food. That I will guarantee because stress is just tough on the body. I was reading a couple of articles on stress on the plane the other day when I was flying. But yeah, you, you know, all the time, all the time, all the time, people are struggling. Oh, I can't stay raw. And I think they're trying to either compare themselves to other people or they're trying to measure up to other people instead of just walking their path and working the plan they've got for being on that path. Uh, I don't know, like I say, everybody is an individual, but for me, I just know when it was time to go raw, it wasn't all that difficult. It's, you know, I hear people, it's difficult, it's difficult, just really wasn't that difficult um, if you take the steps. Now, once again, I know somebody will come on and they'll give me the standard, uh, I went raw vegan overnight. There's people that do that. There's people that do that. There's people that hear this message and they go raw vegan overnight. That's not the majority though, and I wouldn't say, I wouldn't generalize and think that most people do that. Um, as I've mentioned before, you know, I transitioned, I had a fairly, you know, decent length transition of probably, whew, four months, five months, because I was transitioning without knowing it, you know. I, I was still take it, using some animal products at the time, but before I even heard about the raw vegan thing and really started looking into it, I had been getting healthier, and health, my instincts used to always lead me. I didn't give it up back in the day with, you know, the, uh, the, the meat and dairy, but there was something instinctive that told me every time I started to get healthy, I cut them drastically. I don't know why I didn't just go on from there, you know. If only I had seen a video on, you know, veganism, high-carb veganism, you know, earlier in my life, I think. But once I, once I saw the message, I was ready to go. But I was ready to go because, like I say, I had inadver inadvertently um, already transitioned because, you know, I'd cut, a, I'd cut a ton of the meat out of my diet. I'd cut a lot of the dairy. Um, and I had done that over a slow enough period of time that when it was time to get to raw vegan, I, re I made, like I say, I'll say over and over, I made a lot of mistakes. 
So it wasn't like I, when I decided to go raw vegan, when I'm saying it was fairly easy, I wasn't doing it perfect. I wasn't eating like I was supposed to. I still had so much to learn, but from day one, well, I'll tell you this, from day one, and I don't know if that was the transition or just I had just decided, nope, animals are off the table. From the day I uh, watched the raw vegan stuff or started hearing about raw vegan, vegan was, that was, that was just a, I don't even know how to explain that change. That was instantaneous. That was instantaneous to the point of they're just, you know, um, animal products just weren't on the menu anymore. There was no willpower. There was no discipline. It just, it was like, it was like somebody had told me, or I had that mentality. It was almost like somebody had told me, if you even touch a bite of that, you'll die like that. I kind of had that. I, so it was just, and it was about the animals. It shortly became about the animals. So I was like, well, I'm not going to, uh, you know, even if I'm going to slip and eat something that's not optimal for me, I'm not going to eat animals. So the vegan part was easy. I would say the raw part was fairly easy, but I never put any pressure on myself. In fact, I used to joke with some people even before I got into the groups I'm in or before I was doing a channel that I didn't care anything about the number. I used to see people estimate their percentage raw and I would actually kind of have to poke them. You know, I'm one of those type people. I got to rib you a little bit sometimes. And I was like, so how do you come up? Like what, give me a math formula. How do you come up with that you're 95% vegan? <laughs> Is that 95% of your calories? All? I mean, 95% raw vegan. I don't even know how you come up with a, a percentage like that, but I always I kind of scoffed at the numbers. And I always said from the beginning, that's just my personality. I'm a strange guy. I always said that even if I got to the point where I was eating 100% raw all the time, I'd eat something cooked every once in a while just so I couldn't make the claim that I was 100% raw vegan. But that's just me. Like I say, I'm not into labels and I'm not so much into this have to eat, you know, raw 100% all the time. But I will tell you this, when I do eat cooked food, when I come back to the States or when I eat something that is um, probably not optimal for me, but you know, I guess it would be on along the lines of sort of a cheat meal or whatever, I do it guilt free. I don't make any excuses. I don't make any uh, qualms about it. I just, that's what I want to do and that's what I do because, you know, and you have to come to that conclusion for yourself. Don't ever get me wrong just because I'm saying that for me. If, you know, if you believe that 100% raw all the time is right for you, go for it. If you're one of those that's got to be raw all the time, though, I would, say, I would suggest you're going to have a, in the long run, you're going to be much more successful if you don't try to go there too quick. In other words, even if you're shooting for reaching a day when you never eat another piece of cooked food again, you're going to have a better shot of never eating a piece of cooked food again if you come to this mentality when you're ready, if you start trying to be 100% raw vegan without ever having any cooked food when you're ready. See, that, that key phrase keeps coming up, when you're ready. Not when I'm ready, not when this person's ready, not when the group's ready, um, when you're ready. I think, you know, sometimes this social media is a good thing, but it can also be like being back in high school or junior high again. There's almost like, I don't think it's peer pressure because peer pressure is more when your peers are like telling you you need to do something and kind of, you know, I don't think any of the groups I go to, anybody's like bullying anybody and giving them a hard time, but they hear all this, you know, raw all the time, raw, 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 and I think they think that they have to be there right now or they take the message to mean like, you know, this cooked food is poison, I can't eat it at all anymore. And I'm, I'm sure in a lot of times, like newbies can maybe even get, um, you know, get um, frustrated with that or get confused with that because, you know, they're still not, they're not at that point yet. And they're really frustrated because it's like they hear people, they want to be like the rest of the group, but they're not ready. And when they fail, they look at it as a failure and psychologically that's tough on them and then a lot of times that spirals and leads them back to just eating really making really bad choices with food so anyhow just another like little thought just ask yourself before you like want to say something like well jack you don't know this or you don't know that just a possible suggestion just ask yourself if you're struggling all the time if you're like always falling you know people always talk about falling i've seen comments in the last couple of days i'm like wow and i don't comment on things a lot like i'm not one of those people i don't get into the back and forth the arguing or trying to persuade but i hear people like they failed or they fell because they ate 
uh, some cooked food. They eat cooked food like twice in a month, and it was clean cooked food, but they failed. So that's a, to me, that's just a bad mentality psychologically and just something to think about. Just ask yourself, if you're struggling on the raw vegan lifestyle, ask yourself, am I really ready for this? How long have I been doing it? What are the steps have I gone through? Have I, do I have a plan and have I worked my plan? Have I worked to get to this place of going raw vegan? And hey, if it's not relevant for you, if you are that person that can go raw vegan overnight, good for you. And you know what, I got lots of respect for you. And um, hell, come down to Costa Rica, you can even hang out with me because if you can do that overnight, I got something to learn from you too. Anyhow, hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Uh, I know I am going down to Pensacola tomorrow to chill out for a little bit. And I will see you again tomorrow. Peace.